Hey guys, this is Nick with Cinematics, and in this video I will be doing a brief rundown of our new plugin Lotus. Lotus is a very faithful and exact and probably the best sounding emulation of Bucket Brigade technology uh, in the plugin world. Um, it models four, uh, or one iconic chip, but four of them in the plugin, um, called the MN0005, uh, giving you a total of 4096 delay elements. Um, it's all run by a bucket brigade clock, just like the real thing. And that clock determines everything in the plugin. So all the features are governed by the clock. And the clock is always ticking in this plugin, whether it's st the transport is stopped or, or playing. And um, that makes, uh, that gives the plugin a sort of an interesting character in that all the features are really synergistic and they all work together and they all sound like they're designed to be working with each other because they are quite literally all derived from the same ticking clock. And that's how bucket brigades work, and that's what we tried to accomplish with this plugin. And that's what makes it sound so great. So all of the characteristics associated with bucket brigades, namely like the noise, the color, the, the saturation, the distortion, the data loss in between the buckets, um, the loss of charge uh, between the capacitors, the um, aliasing artifacts, the spectral components that you get from the clock leaking into the sound, the modulation of the clock with the sound, everything is modeled very directly and you can control all those things by the way in the advanced section. They make bucket brigades sound like bucket brigades and also uh, typically people want to filter those away uh, to make it sound cleaner but we kept all that in and you can also have a very clean sound if you want but we like having like the dirty sound because uh, it's, uh, I don't think ever been done before, uh, so it, it sounds really great. And uh, on top of all that, we have uh, a sequencer section which lets you sequence pitch uh, changes in the delay. So, if you listen to a regular delay, let me just play. You can hear how, how hot it sounds already. Very, very driven. Let me just turn off everything here. Uh, you can go into self, self oscillation very fast. Notice what happens to the delay and the um, first of all, just how dark it is because bucket brigades are just naturally very dark sounding. Uh, but the more you increase the delay time, the slower the clock rate is the bucket brigade clock. And therefore, everything else kind of slows down with it. So the modulation slows down, the uh, frequencies become darker, uh, and you get more of this... this gurgly, alias lo-fi sound. Uh, this plugin can be run in stereo or ping-pong mode. Uh, so you can, you can get true stereo, but I, I love the ping pong functionality. So that's uh, just that you can use it obviously as a as a clean delay, and it's very precise in that regard. Uh, but the real exciting feature of the plugin here is the sequencer here. You engage this, and you can produce a melody out of essentially one note and make anything sound amazing. Even the most simple sounds. Uh, so basically you can set your own, uh, the lengths of time for each step. You have two steps that you can set pitches and lengths for, um, anywhere from plus one or two octave, uh, plus two or negative two octaves, and any semitone in between. And um, the second step will transpose the one before it uh, by whatever length, uh, amount that you set. And then this final uh, step essentially just resets the sequence. You go back to the beginning and you can set the length of that as well. You can click the align button and that will essentially make the, the final and third step align to whatever is a multiple of the current uh, values, so you can essentially have a perfect uh, like a loop that'll track your your DAW, and you can make it one bar, two bars instead of having to add it together and uh, 
have like an imperfect loop or you can decide to have it imperfect and turn it off but anyway if you turn up the glide you get this kind of portamento effect between the pitches If you turn up the delay, you get these like really very digital sounding artifacts, which I am in love with. There's nothing else like it really. And putting it into ping pong mode is probably the best thing ever because you get this beautiful stereo. Yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy. Uh, you can make it distorted. And the distortion also runs at the clock of the BBD clock, so it's extremely... synergistic. And it sounds very realistic as well. Um, the filter is really cool. You can break down the filter quite low to get rid of all the stuff on top and boost the resonance quite a long way. Uh, the thing is, is it also, it's part of the feedback network. So uh, the higher the resonance on the filter, the more feedback you're gonna get. And that's a nice little interaction. If you want less distortion, you can just bring down the input. So that's a very nice filter. You also have a high pass filter to cut out. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, let's bring up the glide a bit more for... And you can do it two octaves if you want. Click half time, it'll make the entire length of the sequence twice as long. You can hear that distortion in color and character come through uh, with the feedback. It's extremely, kind of takes me aback, honestly, how, like, it sounds so alive. Um, the modulation section obviously will make it even sound more alive because we have a bunch of different shapes. Uh, the random one is amazing. What this does, uh, let's just turn off the sequencer for a moment. What this does is uh, it just modulates the signal in a random way. Uh, the quantize knob for all of them uh, just makes that wave sound more rough and more jagged and almost digital. So just listen to what this sounds. If I turn up the quantize all the way, the depth all the way, Let's maybe make it lower and keep the rate. You can hear that. Actually, let me demonstrate short mode by bringing uh, short mode in. This is just going to cut down the delay time, bring the feedback down. Just to show you the 100% wet sound. And I have this in ping pong, so let's turn this off. This is just mono mode. You can hear how random and jittery. And if I turn down the quantize, I get this smoothened out version. The cool thing is that, that that quantization applies to all the waves. But now with short mode, I can use this plugin as a chorus. In fact, I can use it as a stereo chorus. So let's turn the stereo on and phase offset to 180. High rate, high depth. You get that. It's very distorted and driven. So we're going to bring down the input. Mix it with the wet. 
And you get a very beautiful bucket brigade chorus. Turn up the feedback. Get these really crazy flanger flanger-esque sounds, especially with some distortion and some filtering. It's crazy. Turn off short mode. Bring down the feedback a bit so we get it, get it under control. Turn on the sequencer. Reduce the length. And now our modulation is a bit more aggressive, so we want to bring down the modulation a bit. So you get this stereo chorus modulated pitch sequence, uh, which is amazing. And obviously all these pitch changes are can be synced to the dot. And let's just do one more sound, maybe some some really lo-fi esque uh, ping pong sound with some noise, some drive, clock leak, modulation. You can hear that whine of the clock leak coming in. Let's bring that down a bit, bring up the output a bit. And then bring down the filter a bit to cut out all that crap on top. To get a very beautiful gummy sound with the noise especially there. a living thing so you gotta always make sure the feedback make sure it's happy uh, yeah so I mean this plugin goes very deep I hope you guys explore it there's a, you know, millions of different colors and tones and combinations you can achieve. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one.